women and the rest of the country to celebrate this day. Somewhere in Ekiti State today, it's already been declared a work-free day, you know, for the sake of this celebration. And I think that um, given the history of our country, given the history of even the world generally, and what women have had to pass through, I think that um, most of what this prayer, this motion calls for, are things that will require some deliberateness. I mean, women have come from a point in which there's been largely claimed that they, you know, they suffer from double oppression. They suffer as members of this privileged group, and they also suffer oppression as women. And I think that um, beginning from 1995, at the World Conference on Women, where the idea that women's rights were human rights, I think that um, these yearly celebrations, these yearly events, should always remind us about the role of women in our society. And I think that given even the history of our country, women that have occupied some critical and strategic positions have discharged themselves equity, you know, very, very effectively. And I think that we need to continue to bring this to bear in terms of our public policy, in terms of whatever we do for the sake of women. Some weeks back in the European Parliament, surprisingly, there was one of the parliamentarians that even got up to justify the unequal pay and unequal work for women for the sake of gender. And I think that the kind of clamor that rose up against him is an indication of the fact that in the 21st century and moving into the target date of 2030, that we should get to a point in which these issues become issues that are just normal and obvious. And that as men that support women, we should rise up and support this motion and try to support women in all ramifications and in every way possible. I so support. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.